So you may have heard it before that the lawn needs a dose of fertilizer right away coming out of the winter season. But is that actually the case? Let's talk about that today. The first thing that you've probably noticed if you've ever done your own lawn care before is that the springtime causes a lot of growth in the turf pretty naturally. The reason for this, you can look at this graph of cool season lawns and we'll talk about warm season lawns here in just a moment. So for cool season lawns though, you're gonna see that big curve here in the springtime and that simply means ideal conditions are happening for that cool season grass and really what it's designed for. So if you have a climate where it doesn't get quite as hot in the summertime, then this curve might not look quite as sharp, but this is pretty typical of what I would see here in the Midwest. This is a lot of growth in the springtime. It does get very hot in the summertime. So, and then you get to your fall season, which is prime time as well for cool season lawns. And we'll talk about fertilization in the fall here in just a moment as well. So what happens there in the springtime is shown on that graph and what I kind of call the spring flush or what you might've heard as the spring flush. That simply means the grass is just growing like crazy in the springtime. This isn't something that needs fertilizer in order for this to happen. This is just going to happen as part of what the plant does in the early spring. Now let's talk about cool season lawns in the fall, even though I know it's the spring time right now because the fall time is when your cool season lawn you do most of your fertilization it takes in all of those nutrients and everything and it's going towards that winter season storing up that energy to go into that hard winter that's why it's ideal to do your fertilization in the fall time and that's really when I would consider the cool season lawn calendar to start so fall time you're doing your fertilization it's getting prepared for that winter time and that's going to show you the results coming into the spring so do you really need that fertilizer in the early springtime well if you did a fertilization in the fall or you followed any sort of program in the fall of a dose or two, sometimes three, just depending on what you're doing, then your lawn should come out in the spring ready to go and you don't need that early dose of heavy fertilizer. If you didn't do any fertilization last fall and this is a new lawn for you, maybe a smaller dose in the early spring would be appropriate. Smaller By smaller dose, I'm saying probably a half a pound of nitrogen or maybe up to three quarters, just depends on if this is a brand new lawn, you've never had any fertilization on it for years or kind of what your scenario is. But that really be the only case I would consider putting a heavy dose of fertilizer on in the spring. And the reason for this is that I already told you you're going to see a lot of growth in the springtime just naturally from the cycle of the plant. So what happens when you dump that fertilizer on right after winter is that this becomes excessive. Sometimes you may feel like I just mowed yesterday and this thing has grown an inch in a day. And especially if you're getting rains and you're getting to a point where you can't get out on the lawn for a week at a time, the grass can get extremely tall if you get that heavy dose of fertilizer on too early. Then you're really at a point where you're usually stressing it out by cutting off too much of the plant when you do your mow. So really the same kind of concepts happen for warm season grass. Warm season grass though has a different cycle where that curve actually happens into the midsummer and comes back down. So your ideal time for your fertilization is going to be into the late spring and right into the summertime. And then you kind of stop when you get to your fall season. A really heavy dose of early spring fertilizer when you're kind of still in your dormant mode isn't going to be that appropriate. You want to wait until you start to get more of your growth happening into that summer season. What are some of the options though if you want to get some sort of fertilizer on your lawn even in just a small amount? It's typically hard to do this with most of the granulars just because of the granular size. It's hard to actually put out a small amount of fertilizer through a fertilizer spreader and do it evenly. We talked about this just a couple weeks ago but this is why it's important if you want to do small doses of granular fertilizer that you look at that SGN. So if you can get something that has a really small particle size for the granular, then it's going to be easier to do small doses. So if that's important to you, make sure you have something that's more towards greens grade or at least has a lower SGN that you can actually do smaller doses. But this is actually where liquid fertilizer really shines in this scenario and that's why I use this in the early spring. Liquid fertilizer can be easily sprayed at whatever dose you choose. That gives you some flexibility in terms of how much you want to put down onto the ground. And the other benefit of it is that it's directly feeding the plant. It happens pretty much right away and you're not going to have to sit there and wait for granular to break down. You're much more in control of the timing of when those nutrients are going to hit the plant. And like I said in early spring, you want to be the person that's in control of the nutrients and that way you're not dumping a whole load of fertilizer on there and waiting for things to happen. There's a couple options here that I have if you're looking for a liquid fertilizer with more of a hose end version. And then if you're more of a backpack person and you want to get the best bang for your buck, we do have soluble fertilizers, which just simply mix into water and become a liquid fertilizer that you spray. These are going to be a little more affordable because you do the actual mixing into the water. I'm going to be spraying some liquid fertilizer out on my yard on the lower cut turf as soon as things start to green up. So if you want to see how that process works, make sure you stay tuned here and we'll feature that coming up. So the moral of the story here is some fertilization in the early spring can definitely be appropriate and it depends on your past situation with your lawn, how much 
fertilizer it's had in the past and what happened in that last fall season for cool season grasses. The main point is that the grass is already going to grow a lot in the spring. So a really early heavy dose of fertilizer is not going to help you in many ways. It's going to cause excessive growth and it's actually going to stress the plant going into the hardest season for these lawns, which is the heat of summer. So check out some other videos here on the channel if you want to learn a whole lot more about taking care of your yard. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.